Hi, and welcome to the tutorial of our latest task, the timing review task. I will show you how to read time different snippets within a full text project. First, you go log in into Crowd Virtualizer, and after you logged in, you will see this interface. You will go to Tasks, and then select Review Audio Transcription, and then you will see there is a new queue which is called Timing Review. You have to click on View, which will lead you straight to the first task, um, which you have to obviously accept first. Before we start out, I'd like to explain several new functions. Right here you can see the sentences that need to be that need to be retimed. They are flagged with a little timing icon. You, here you can see how many sentences have to be retimed. For this special case, we only have one that needs to be retimed. For this, for example, we would have six that need to be retimed. But let's go back to the first video. So here's another button which lets you enable timing mode. So right here, right now you can see you are in a timing mode. Right here is the red bar. And here is the bar that lets you retime the task. So every time before you retime a, a sentence, you have to click on this enable button. Then you click on play, and as soon as the music starts playing, you have to click on this bar so it will be adjusted. After you're done, you can disable the, the timing mode again, and you can here skip to the next timing error flag. Okay, let's try this. All right, let's hit play. Can you start it already? To understand how these twin four. So I clicked when the music started, and I clicked when the speaker said to understand. Okay, so if we listen to it again, it will now be correctly timed. Let's play it. To understand how these twin. See how it jumped right in that second where the speaker started speaking? That's how it has to be. So you can always re-click on the sentence and let and listen to it again to make sure the timing is accurate. And the snippets move along with the speaker. So right now we had just one, and you can see this button here turned gray. That means there is no more sentences to flag. And you can submit. Yes, this hit is complete. Now you can accept the next task, and you can see there were six sentences that need to be retimed. As you I will pause this real quick, enable the timing mode, click on play again, and as soon as he says, as you've been watching, you have to click on the red one. As you've been watching this course, you may have noticed I keep mentioning post formats again and again, but I have yet to address what they are or how they work. Now, now it's time we take a look at post formats and how you can use them in your own site. But before we do that, I wanted to show you where post formats came from and how they originated. They, it all came from... So you saw how I retimed all those four sentences. Let's play again and see if it, if it fits. As you've been watching this course, you may have noticed I keep mentioning post formats again and again, but I have yet to address what they are or how they work. Now it's time we take a look at post formats and how you can use them in your own site. But before we do that, I wanted to show you where post formats came from and how they originated. They, it so now let's pause. As a quick hint, Control 3 will allow you to let the music, uh, let the video play slower, so it will be easier for you to hit the right moment where the speaker starts with the new text. But now let's go ahead and retime other. So just like with categories. So here are two more. So just to show you, I'm trying to submit now, and then it will tell me there are three sentences that need to be retimed. So I have to retime all sentences before I actually hit submit. So now let's enable timing mode again and hit play. And as soon as the speaker says so, I will click on the red bar. Back to being a regular post. So just yeah. like with categories and tags, post formats do not permanently change a post. 
They're just now, a feature that you can turn on and off and change that. Now I pause and disable time mode again. And now I can jump to the next that's one. That's next. That's next. Okay. So when he says that's next, I have to click on the red bar again. Let's try. They do to your content. That's Damn. next. Okay. So now this button here turned gray and I can submit. Yes, this hit is complete. That is it. Thank you very much.